today. So I want to thank Gary uh, from Sweet Spot for actually producing the show, basically. He was our producer today. He got our guests lined up and everything. They've got a U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Breakfast coming up. You can purchase tickets at the Sweet Spot. We're called 507-210-6544. We're going to learn all about the Coast Guard Auxiliary today. This breakfast is at the American Legion. You know they have good vittles there. Sunday, November 27th. 8.30 until 12.30, and you can meet Coasty the Robot. So bring the kids, bring the grandkids, and enjoy the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Breakfast on November 27th. That's not this Sunday, it's next Sunday. Next Sunday. This Sunday, I'm going to become sophisticated. Well, that's hard to believe, but I'll be going to an opera this Sunday up in the uh, cities. Let's see, what else we got going on? Next week, we'll visit with more United Way agencies on Monday. Tuesday, Jerry and Mel Halati will be in studio telling us all about the Thanksgiving dinner. We'll be going down and peeling potatoes like we always do. Jerry Grosskreitz hosts the show on Wednesday. You'll learn how to cook your turkey for Thanksgiving. Of course, Thanksgiving, we do not have a show. And next Friday, I do believe we will have a program. I interviewed an author on tape the other day, and we'll be airing that, I think, next Friday, unless something else comes up before then. The Year of the Reader, Nancy Carlson, an author that we interviewed 20 years ago, is back part of the Year of the Reader program. So without further ado, let's get to know our guests today. John Peterson. We've got with us uh, John Peterson and yeah. Neil McMillian. Correct. Right? Good morning, Neil. Good morning. Hi, John. Good morning. Do you want to explain to our listeners why all these uh, lights and cameras and everything else are in studio? Are we on television right now? I believe that we're being taped by our uh, public affairs officer, Mr. Steve Jones. I wonder if he's getting too much shine from my head. No, it's actually Neil's head that seems to be uh, oh my, giving us the most probably, problems. It's probably my head. I didn't wear <laughs> my, my pancake makeup. <laughs> yeah. Neil and I have the, the same hairdo, don't we, Neil? It's easy to maintain, though. Well, I know. I never have a bad hair day. That's what I always tell people. I don't have trouble with the girls, though. Well, there you go. Uh, boy, Neil, that was kind of a bad... You guys get along pretty well, don't you? At times. Most of the time we do. <laughs> along with our service to uh, the Coast Guard, we do have fun. And it's really uh, a great camar camaraderie of uh, people and a good way to make friendships with people that have similar interests. And you don't have to have a boat to be in the Coast Guard Auxiliary. A lot of people do, but there are other interests that you can become involved in. All right. Neil, where do you reside? I live in Maple Grove, up north of Minneapolis. Okay. How about you, John? Where do you live? I'm in Lakeville, Minnesota. And how long have you been in Lakeville? I've been in Lakeville six years. Okay. I was going to ask, I, the reason I asked that is because when I moved to Faribault in 1987, Lakeville was nothing like it is now. It's amazing how much that suburb has grown up in the Twin Cities. Why did you join the Coast Guard Auxiliary, Neil? Well, after 9-11, uh, I felt that I needed to uh, provide a service to my country. And this was one way that I could volunteer my time and efforts as I got up in years and had some available time uh, to spend. I thought I would spend it for my country. So you're retired? I am now. Were you when you started? Uh, no, I was still working, but uh, had the opportunity to uh, take some time off and get more involved, so I chose the auxiliary. How about you, John? Why did you join the Coast Guard Auxiliary? I was, uh, I'm a vet, former Army, back in the 70s, and uh, on 9-11 I was watching the television. My son was a uh, firefighter paramedic on duty that day, uh, happened to be in Chicago at the World Trade Center, which was expected to be possibly attacked as well. and. Uh, uh, made a decision that day that I was probably going to need to look for something to do for my country as well because we we're probably going to be at war and uh, started actively trying to figure out you know what more can I do to help my country and uh, after I bought my boat I realized I didn't know how to operate a boat a friend introduced me to the Coast Guard Auxiliary and said they'll teach you everything you need to know about that right. and that's what got me in. We're going to talk about that, about the Coast Guard Auxiliary. That, again, that benefit breakfast is on the 27th. We'll give you more details about that as well. Right now, let's get that opening market report. Service of your KDHL Agri Boosters, Community Co-op Oil Association, Faribault. From the Minnesota Farm Bureau. 
Okay. From the pinkies, I should have told you guys before that. It's a pretty close operating. Like the the sure. to start the day. Traders taking a bit so far, so good. Yeah. Uh, lean. 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 We're lean, mean. Lean. Lean. <laughs> lean. Holy lean. lean. Oh, yeah, the holy lean. Lean. It's kind of well, now that we're going to move on into those jokes, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. <laughs>